Hello Internet, I'm Colorful Artie, and I am so excited to finally be able to play Donkey Kong 64 on my channel. I realized that actually my Elgato HD capture card can in fact capture N64 game footage, and this is a game that I have wanted to let's play on my channel since the I started it actually. Uh, before we, uh, as much as I'd like to watch DKTV, we should probably go to the main menu. So, I will not be doing a regular Let's Play of this game, or a 101% Let's Play. Instead, I will be doing a 0% Let's Play. Basically, what that means is I will go for the entire game without getting a single golden banana. And normally, the game wants you to get at least 100 gold bananas in order to beat the game. However, this is also a very, very glitchy game, and I will be using a ton of these glitches. What the heck? I have never seen that before. I will be using a ton of these glitches in order to beat the game without getting a single gold banana. This is going to be an awesome Let's Play to watch, and absolutely crazy to see. And just so you know, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you've got a good knowledge of Donkey Kong 64, because it's not really going to be possible for me to explain everything while I'm doing it, because some stuff needs to be really, really fast. So... I'd recommend playing this game yourself before watching this Let's Play, otherwise you're probably going to get confused. I'll do my best to explain everything, but realistically, I'm not going to be able to. Get away, gophers. Or beavers. They're not gophers. Alright, so before we start, I'm going to go to Mystery, and I am going to turn on one of the cheat codes to get unlimited oranges. This is not necessary, by any means, it's just... Some of the glitches do require you to throw oranges strategically. And if you run out, restocking up on them is a huge pain in the tail. So I just want to put these on both for my benefit and for your benefit. Also, I'm turning off story skip. And the reason for that is, for some reason, when the cutscenes begin or end, um, my video has a bad habit of just turning off and then turning back on again, and it messes everything up. So, forgive me if I turn off stories. Actually, you know what? It always did that for the DK rap, but, you know, we can at least try it. We could try watching the story clips. Alright, let's go on an adventure. So, let's see. 101%. Keeping that. 63 bananas. Keeping that. Game 2. There we go! Okay, I guess I got 1%, but 0 gold bananas. Alright, that's the one I'll be deleting. And let's start. Oh yeah, good. My video did not stop for the story scenes. Donkey Kong 64 has a pretty long opening movie. Also, the first part of this game is going to be very similar to just a regular playthrough, and then it's going to quickly go absolutely crazy. I love this game so much. Back in the day before we had an N64, we would go to the local video store and rent an N64, and it was really cheap, and you could rent a few games with it as well. We would always rent Smash Bros. and Donkey Kong 64, occasionally we'd do things like Diddy Kong Racing, Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart, stuff like that, but Donkey Kong 64 was a huge favorite of my family. We would rarely actually play the single player mode, because it was super hard, rather we would just play the terrible multiplayer mode, and we thought it was like the greatest thing ever. I just have so much nostalgia for this game. And the graphics, even though it's N64 graphics, really good. Partly because, well, you need the expansion pack to play this. One of like two or three games on the N64 that required it. And it was kind of irritating in that we had Donkey Kong 64 for our N64 for a while, but we could not get the expansion pack. So it was just like taunting us. Oh, and it has voice talent. Kind of. K. Rool has voice talent, at least, for the opening movie scene. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. Soon Donkey Kong and his pretty little island will be no more. Seriously, K. Rool, why do you hate Donkey Kong so much? Probably because he hoards his bananas and K. Rool can't have any.
No, no, no problem. Uh, everything's fine. <laughs> See, hitting machines always makes it work. <laughs> I love that crash. It like inflates Cable's ship briefly. It's awesome. This game is just amazing. I might do a 101% playthrough eventually, but that's going to take forever. And you're going to see just how glitchy this game is. This is, in my opinion, easily one of the glitchiest games I've ever played. It's like this in Mario 64. But honestly, this game, it's like, if you try hard enough, you can get through pretty much any wall. Gosh. You'll see that later on. I love K. Rool's voice of this. I want you to do everything in your power to stop Donkey Kong. I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hoard of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, your excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> Who are these guys? I, I recognize Diddy Kong. You're right this time. They weren't in Donkey Kong no. Country. Okay, I've always wondered what. I've always wondered, like, K. Rool has like the TV with like the cons in the barrel. Like, what is that, and what is the barrel around them? Because they use that, but it's like they aren't trapped. Ah, DK, DK, come quickly! They're gone! They're all gone! What? Because duh. Chunky ate all my bananas again? <laughs> and now we actually finally get to walk around. Ooh, Donkey Kong's totally got a crush on Candy Kong. Not a fan of Candy Kong in this, personally. Actually, I'm just not a fan of Candy Kong in general. She's not as cool as Dixie or Tiny. DK's treehouse. <laughs> What? Your precious banana hoard and all the other columns have vanished. I can't find them anywhere, DK. You better go and tell Cranky the bad news. What? <laughs> all right. So I guess I'll just show off the main uh, like move. So you move around. You can jump. You've got like a slap attack like that. You can do a like diving attack like that. You can do an aerial attack, long jump, high jump. Stuff like that. And you can roll by pushing ZB. And Cranky Kong is now a scientist and owns a laboratory. Don't don't question it. Well, if it isn't my lazy good for nothing son, lost your golden bananas again? And where might your flea bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I'd have thought you'd be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Luckily for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having any until you've completed my training barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you've done them all. So yeah, unfortunately we cannot skip this beginning part of the training barrels because until you complete them you can't do basic things like swim. What did Cranky mean when he said training? Donkey confused. Didn't mean to skip for that that fast. Yeah, so we're basically going to do the training barrels, and then after that, the entire playthrough is just going to get crazy. Alright. So step one, learn how to swim. The swimming controls in this can be kind of bad if you're not used to them. Squawk, press Z to dive underwater, then press and hold A or B to swim at different speeds. Pressing Z will act as a water break to slow you down. Prove yourself by collecting the coin at the bottom. So while it says hold A, I prefer tapping A, you go much faster. Well 
And then B makes you go a lot slower. Alright, so now we can swim. And now we learn the ability to throw oranges. Squawk! Pick up the oranges and hold Z, then press right C to throw them. Just throw five oranges and you're done. Squawk! So yeah, you'll see I have infinite oranges because I turned on the cheat code. Also, go into first person mode and you can fire oranges a lot more rapidly. As opposed to this where it's just... Well done. And I blew myself up. <laughs> Well done, Donkey Kong! You can use oranges. Not really, though. Now we learn to throw barrels. We're gonna need these for the bosses we do in the game. What? Press B to pick up a barrel. Press B again to throw it. Pick it up and throw five barrels to move on. What? You can also push C to set barrels down after you pick them up. That's unnecessary to know for one of the gold bananas. Well done. Thank you, I try, I try. You can also climb up trees. <laughs> what? Press A to leap from vine, one vine to another, and press R when holding the vine to face the other way. I never knew that. Press Z to drop from a vine. Now go and collect the coin at the end of the vines. I never knew you could turn around mid-vine by pushing the R button. It's what I get for skipping all the tutorial text. Well done! Alright, there go the training barrels. Now finally we can continue with the quest. What? Hurry, DK, go get that potion from Cranky, and let's get going. What? You said it, Squawks. I'm tired of the game being this slow. Yeah, once we get the move from Cranky, bam, we're gonna start getting a really interesting, uh, playthrough. I still don't know why Cranky owns a laboratory now, though. Hmph! <laughs> You took your time, Donkey! Jungle Rust set in, did it? Here, drink this. Simeon Slam, Butter Spatium. Love that. <laughs> right, you and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing Z A to jump and then Z whilst in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. I'll see you later if you're lucky. Yeah, we're not going to get any banana medals. We're also not going to play his special game. Even though you're supposed to have to do that in order to beat the game. Nah, forget that. Also, what you're supposed to do is go for this uh, tunnel way. And there's a switch at the end. You can use the Simeon Sam to get out. But I'm going to show a glitch off anyways. So go down here and you see this uh, thing right here. Press up C to go into first person mode. Then just hold A. Okay. That didn't work. Okay, I guess it has to be at, like, the right point. Or let me try it over here. Yep, and you just literally clip right through the wall if you do it at the right area. So this is the first of many, many, many out-of-bounds tricks we're going to do. What the heck? Yeah, you can see just how broken this game is already. Yeah, so basically, if once you're out-of-bounds... Uh, like, if you go too far away, it'll spawn you back at the start of the area. Whereas if you swim too close, you go back in bounds. Alright. So see this white? This is where we're supposed to go to get out of the cave. <laughs> and that's that's the least broken part of the game, believe me. What? He's back, DK! King K. Rules Island is just over there! He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the Evercalds! I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off is that island with a cave on it over there. What? I forgot Squawks is so prominent in this game. Find a similar numbered pad in the same area and press Z to banana port between the two. That'll be helpful to know, believe me. So there are those five. And now we could go to Kalonzi's cave, but why? We can glitch more over here. See that island that looks like the banana fairy's head? 
Yeah, we're gonna go over there. You're supposed to not be able to get into that island until you get uh, Tiny Colin in her first move, but that's too much work. We're gonna go for it as Donkey Colin. We're gonna use a little glitch called Swim Through Shores, which does exactly what it says. Basically, see how the shore is coming in? If you dive underwater and then hold up and mash the crud out of the B button, you'll actually swim for the shore. Very easy to pull off. And once again, out of bounds. <laughs> And if you look over there, that's a gold banana. However, it's Tiny's gold banana, and unless it's Donkey Kong's, Donkey Kong can't get it. And we're not getting gold bananas anyways. So now what we're going to do is walk over here. Easier said than done. Darn it. Did not want to do that. Well, at least we can get that five pad. And at least this is a very easy glitch to pull off. As you can see... <laughs> That's one of the that's I that's easily one of the easiest glitches to pull off in the game. All right. Also, the cameras in this game can be kind of bad at times. There we go. Jumped into the loading zone. And banana's crying. Banana fairy's crying. Oh, I just don't know what to do. There was this huge tremor recently, and it scared my banana fairies so that much that they panicked and flew away. I'll reward anyone who manages to find them all and bring them back to me. Please help me, little one. Calm down, Mrs. Fairy. My friends and I will look out for them while we're on our adventure. Oh, thank you, but I'm afraid you won't be able to simply grab them out of the air. The only way to catch the banana fairies is by trapping them inside special banana skin photographs. Here, take my magical camera. It already has some film in it. To activate the camera, press and hold Z, then press down C to take a fairy's picture by pressing B. As a sign of our friendship, I'll now teach you and your friends a secret ability. Press and hold B to power up his this move and then release the button to activate it. As well as protecting you, it can also be useful for unearthing hidden items. Unfortunately, it needs a crystal coconut to work, so use it wisely. So I really don't care about the camera in this, even as weird as it is to capture fairies by taking pictures of them. I'm, we're not going to use that at all in this game. Also, DK it can have a hard time getting out of there. <laughs> Rather, I wanted the crystal coconut move because that'll help us get some coins in order to get some, a lot of the moves we need for the game. Alright, we're going to collect all the stuff on this island. Banana port. And now, believe it or not, we are actually going to go back here. Yep, there's the gate. And this is the switch you're supposed to use to open the gate. But like I said, if I can show off a glitch in the game, I'm, I'm going to. That's the whole point of this Let's Play. I like the lighting in this game. It's very good. So I bet you're wondering what we're doing back here. Well, there's a cave we didn't explore. And now that we've got the uh, crystal coconut move, we can get extra stuff. So, these are banana coins. They're the currency in the game. Then hold, press and hold B. And then you can use these to destroy these DK bed dirt patches and get a giant coin. Hey, Donkey, that's a special coin you picked up. It gives five coins to each calm. And yes, it even gives coins to the cons you haven't unlocked yet. So if I get Diddy Con now, he'll start with five coins, because I got that. Banana coins are really, really rare at the beginning of the game, and then after a while you're like, banana coins? I've got like I don't even have to worry about that anymore. I've got so many. There's a ton of them in the game, it's just they're kind of scarce at the beginning. Also, rolling, I think, is the fastest way to get around as Donkey Kong. Alright. Let's go over to this area. This is where we're supposed to go first. However, <laughs> it's really not going to help us all that much. If you hold B while swimming on the surface, you'll swim faster. Alright. That's not K rule, by the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hi, my name's K. Lumsy, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island, full of cute monkeys, so I said no. <laughs> K. Wool says I'm too soft to be a Kremlin, and he's, I'm to stay in here until I've toughened up. Oh, I'll do anything to be free again.
Hey, little monkey, perhaps you could help a poor old K Lumsy escape? Oh, go on, I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, Donkey will help K Lumsy. <laughs> Alright, he opens up every new world in the game. Oh! Best sound effect in the entire game. Unfortunately, we're not going to hear that a whole lot in this playthrough. That actually might be the only time we hear it. Oh, K. Lumsy's so happy now! K. Rool has taken the keys to this cage and given them to one of the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rool, though. This has to be our little secret. So I did not actually come in here to uh, agree to help him out. Rather, what I did is I wanted to come back here, so there's that switch, but we can't do anything with that. Rather, in the back here, DK Dirt Pile. Hard to see, but it's there. So now we've got quite a few coins, but we still need a few more. Luckily, on our way to the first world, we will actually pass another Dirt Patch. And most people start with Jungle Japes, which is the way he just opened. Nah, I'm starting with Crystal Caves, baby. <laughs> which is the sixth world out of technically eight. Alright. So yeah, the game wants you to grab that gold banana, go into that cave, and then enter the first world that's in that cave. But, not gonna do that. Gold bananas? I don't want them. So if we go back here, we can get the free pad. Alright. Now that we've come over here, we're gonna jump up here. So for those of you who are curious, this way normally leads to Angry Aztec. Which is the second world, but it also leads to Crystal Cave. So this is the final DK Dirt Patch we're going to get. Alright, so if we look up here, see that big cave right above me? That's the entrance to Crystal Caves, however it's supposed to be blocked off so you can't get it. However, by using a glitch called the Moon Kick, we can actually get up there. So one of the things about Donkey Kong most people don't know is he can fly. So you know how he's got this attack, and then he's got this attack? Well, if you do the aerial attack followed by that attack very, very quickly, uh, he's gonna fly. So the best way to do this is to find a slope that's not steep enough that it pushes him down, but steep enough that he can quickly do this. This slope is the perfect example, and perform it. So I like putting, moving the camera to, like, here. Walk up. Oh, okay. Nope. Not quite fast enough. This can take some practice, but... Yeah! Just hold B and he starts flying. And, okay, it would not let me grab on. Then jump. Okay, wow, he is not grabbing onto that. Oh my gosh, Donkey Kong, will you please just grab... This is the easiest moon kick to do in the game as well, so I don't know why he's having so much trouble grabbing onto that. Maybe I need to do another jump attack. Oh my gosh, Donkey Kong! He's just not grabbing on! I've never had this happen before! There we go. Okay. So he grabs on, move all the way over to the left, and then he'll pull himself up through the rock, and bam! However, we're not in Crystal Caves just yet. In addition to having to get to the lobby, there's also this annoying little guy called... Well, I guess it's the draw distance is too bad I can't actually get up there. Annoying little guy called Bee Locker. Over here, you dumb ape! I'm the mighty bee locker, and don't think for one minute you're coming in here without showing me some of your stupid golden bananas. If I disobey that fat old fool K. Rule, it's the big sawmill in the sky for me, so pay up pronto so I can get my wooden butt out of here. Yeah, he is an annoying little guy who tries to make sure we have golden bananas before entering the world. However, most of the time he's very easy to bypass. 
Let's go up here. He's going to make a rude noise and say we can't get in because we don't have enough bananas. However, for most of them, like this one, what we can do is station ourselves like this, jump backwards, or hang on. We can jump backwards to get a bit closer, and then do a slap attack. Okay, so that requires a little bit of explanation. I'll do that after this cutscene, though. Those stubborn apes don't know when they're beat. But even they will have to admit defeat. After they've tangled with my fiery little pet. Who's this guy? I've never seen him in my life. Nothing could stop me now. Their island is doomed. Ah, oh, there you are. I trust the cons have been dealt with. Oh, it was an awful master! Those horrible cons threw nasty barrels at me, though, in pain. Knocked me into the lava, they did, and singed both my wings. One of them got really big and punched me in the face. Look at my poor old nose. I'm going to go lie down now. I'm not feeling at all well. That guy's a total liar! I haven't seen him in my life! That makes more sense if you play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Okay, so basically how I got past B-Locker is I got as close to him as possible, then I did a backwards jump to get slightly even closer, then I did my slap attack over there, and basically see how he has both his hands come down? His right hand's right side actually goes ever so slightly farther than the left side, and if you do that, you can just touch the portal B-Locker is blocking and it'll enter the world for you. However, we're not gonna stay here for long. Those are not gold bananas, those are just regular bananas. Basically what I'm here to do is just go to candy store and buy as much stuff as I can. And what this does is, because I've gone to Crystal Caves, now any store in the game I go to will treat me like, Oh hey, you've been to Crystal Caves, we'll give you all of the... We'll give you access to buy all of the equipment up to Crystal Caves now. So we get access to a ton of stuff now. Alright. I don't like candy. But, she sells me watermelons, so I need to get them. Watermelons are your HP in this. Well, hello, Donkey. You just take it easy and let Candy tell you how she's gonna make you feel real good. So much in your window. Why, for just a few little old coins, you can have my musical instruments and extra melons, too. Come on now, Donkey, for just free coins, I'll show you my musical instrument and throw in an extra melon for free. Let's give it a try, shall we? <sighs> yeah. So now we learn Bongo Blast. We're playing that can activate special things if we play it on certain pads, as well as killing all enemies within range. Stand a little closer, Donkey, and I'll show you how to use your instrument. So much in your window. Press and hold Z, then press up to its sound wave. Blast will deafen most Kremlings, but it will also reduce the instrument's energy. To top off its energy by finding some headphones. You won't lose any energy if you play it while you're standing on a music pad, and all sorts of amazing things are likely to happen, too. You've all got another melon, too. It'll hopefully make things a little easier. I have an instrument upgrade available for five coins. Do you want it? No, but I have to buy it in order to get the third watermelon, so might as well. I've upgraded all your instruments now, so they've got more musical energy. This is what I want. Hey there, for seven coins I can give you an extra melon to help you live longer and upgrade your weapon. There, now we've got the maximum HP we can have. That'll be helpful for the orange glitches. Well, Donkey, now you've got another melon, but I'm afraid they're my last. I've also increased each of your instruments' power for you. Hey, she's got a picture of Donkey Kong on her piano. And that's literally all I wanted to do in Crystal Caves. Literally, that's it. Also, best save in the entire, like, history of gaming. Okay. You push the save button and he says, Okay. And that's actually where I'm going to end the episode off for today, because we've done quite a bit, and if you still aren't that impressed, trust me, this is the least glitchy part of our playthrough. Like, 
It's only going to get glitchier from here on out. I really, really hope you join in for next time because it's going to get a lot better. We didn't do a whole lot of cool stuff in this video, but that's going to change in the next video. So, I'm Colorful Artie. Thank you very, very much for watching this playthrough, and I will see you, hopefully, for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.